Hey, Fred with Siege Off-Road. One of the very first things you should do to your EcoBoost F-150, whether it's just the F-150 or the Raptor, is an oil separator because it's direct injection. So today we're going to be installing this UPR dual oil separator, fitting your 2017 F-150 EcoBoost and the F-150 Raptor. This UPR oil separator will make sure that your 3.5 liter EcoBoost is running good and clean to catch the oil from the PCV valve, preventing it from entering the engine. It's made of high quality CNC machine built aluminum with a black anodized finish and a drain valve on the bottom to make it easy to service. It comes with all the hardware and hose you'll need for an easy installation, so today we're going to install it on our 2017 Raptor. Tools you'll need for this installation, 7mm socket, 8mm socket, 10mm socket, an extension, quarter inch ratchet, 17mm socket, 5 16 hex key, a 3 8 ratchet, a trim panel removal tool or a flathead screwdriver, a 51 64 drill bit or a universal drill bit, a drill, and safety glasses. All right, installation of this oil separator is pretty straightforward. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the factory air inlet off the factory air box. Remove the two clips on the front of the inlet. Once you get the two clips off, there's an eight millimeter screw holding the air inlet to the air box. Then the air inlet just simply pops off. And set it aside. There's two nuts that hold the engine cover on that you have to remove. Once you remove the two nuts, just lift up on the engine cover. We're ready to install the oil separator. Make sure when you install it, the valve is closed. Make sure all your fittings are in good and tight. Now we're going to install it down here on the frame. Now getting this bolt back here is kind of tricky. Then you can tighten the bolt with a 17 millimeter socket. And with a 5 16 hex key, you can tighten the bolt in the position that you want the catch can. Just like that. Go onto the passenger side of the engine and pull on the gray tab to remove the PCV hose from the engine and then also the intake manifold. Grab the hose in the kit that is pure braided hose. There's no check valves in it. This is going to be the dirty hose. And this is going to go on top of the oil separator and then to the passenger side of the engine. Connect it to the engine where you just removed the PCV hose. The other end of this dirty hose goes to the top port on the oil separator. The clean line is now ready to be installed, and this is the line with the check valve with a 45 degree fitting on one end and a straight fitting on the other. This 45 is gonna go on the oil separator and the straight part will go right on the intake manifold. Connect it right to the intake manifold where the factory PCV hose went. The end with the check valve can go right here on the front of the oil separator. The final line to install is the wide open throttle line. The part with the 45 degree end will go on the can, and then this part's gonna go on the turbo inlet tube on the passenger side. Loosen this clamp right here to remove the turbo inlet pipe. There's one more clamp on the turbo we have to remove to completely remove this pipe. To easily access the clamp holding on the inlet pipe to the turbo, go through the fender well on the passenger side, then use a seven millimeter socket to remove the clamp and simply remove the pipe. It's kind of hard to see, but it's really not hard to get to. All you'll need is a seven millimeter socket and an extension, and it's right here in the fender well. With both clamps removed, just simply remove the pipe. This is very approximate and not super crucial, but we're gonna be putting the inlet for this wide open throttle line right about here one inch down from this line and one inch over from this canister area. Grab yourself a 51 64 drill bit or a universal bit and drill it out. Install the supplied grommet into the hole that you just drilled out to 51 64 of an inch. Install the supplied fitting into the grommet. Using a little bit of WD-40 will make this a little bit easier. Before you actually install this back on the Raptor, make sure you clean it out with compressed air or water or whatever. Make sure it's nice and clean, then you can reinstall it. Reinstall the inlet pipe the same way that you removed it, and then tighten both clamps. 
Once you get the inlet tube installed, you can now connect the wide open throttle line to the fitting that you just installed. Okay, we have the whole UPR oil separator installed. All that's left to do now is reinstall the air inlet. Reinstall the two clips and the screw. Reinstall the engine cover if you choose to do so. Then your installation's finished. Okay, we got our UPR oil separator installed. It's gonna keep this Raptor running clean and smooth for a long time. Installation's not too bad, it should take you less than an hour, and before you know it, you'll be heading off road.